This lesson is on division of fractions. Let's start with a whole number, 4, and we'll divide it by a fraction, 1 half. How many halves will go into 4? 8. Each whole will take 2 halves. Dividing by a half is kind of like multiplying by 2. 4 divided by a half would be the same as 4 multiplied by 2. Both answers give us 8. 1 half and 2 are called reciprocals of each other. Reciprocals are called multiplicative inverses. In other words, they are two values that multiply together to have a product of 1. 1 half times 2 would equal 1. To divide by a fraction, you simply need to take the reciprocal of the divisor, the number after the division sign, and multiply. What would the reciprocal of 2 thirds be? What would I need to multiply 2 thirds by to get an answer of 1? We would want the 2 on top of the fraction to divide with a 2 on the bottom. So the reciprocal would have to have a 2 in its denominator so that those two 2's would divide and equal 1. What would have to be on top of that fraction so that 3 would divide and equal 1? It would have to be a 3 as well. 3 halves would be the reciprocal of 2 thirds. Let's try an example using our whole number 4, but this time we'll divide it by 2 thirds. We'll use our model again, starting with 4 squares. We'll divide it by 2 thirds. Let's see how many 2 thirds would fit into 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. 4 divided by 2 thirds would equal 6. Let's test our theory about multiplying by the reciprocal. 4 divided by 2 thirds becomes 4 times the reciprocal of 2 thirds, 3 halves. Notice we write 4 as 4 over 1 so that we can clearly see what's in the numerator and what's in the denominator. Now to multiply two fractions together, we multiply the two numerators together and we multiply the two denominators together. Remember, this is the best time to reduce the fractions. Notice that 4 and 2 can both be divided by 2 evenly. 4 divided by 2 leaves us with 2 on top and 2 divided by 2 leaves us with 1 on the bottom. So our fraction reduces to 2 times 3 in the numerator and 1 times 1 in the denominator. Now we can complete the multiplication leaving us with 6 over 1. And 6 divided by 1 of course is equal to 6 matching our model answer perfectly. Remember, to divide by fractions, you simply take the reciprocal of the fraction after the division sign and change it to multiplication.